Hi, I'm Kevin E.G. Perry from Enemy, and we're here backstage at Lisbon's Not Alive with Jamie Hintz from Hello. The Hello. All right. How are you? How yeah, are you doing? good. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's start by saying happy birthday. I know that the uh, the kills just wait. It's yeah. 15, what, 15 years 15. since the first EP. Since our first show. Oh, actually, yeah, now it's, it's, it's since the first EP, but mm. our first show was 2002, February 14th. Mm. Yeah, and I guess our Black Rooster EP came out in round about this time, actually, two, 15 years ago, yeah. So this has been Kills are entering their sort of surly teenager stage of 15 years old. Is yeah. Like maturing I, or getting into trouble at parties? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's more like dog years, isn't it? It's, like, it's more like 70. <laughs> Is that how it feels? <laughs> no, no. You've on no, not at all. Not at <laughs> all. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you're here in Lisbon, obviously. I want to, you, oh, you're a band who seems to you know, tour a lot. Do you, yeah. you come to a city like Lisbon? Is it like, you know, do you have your guys you go and see? Is it a good, you know, your, your music shop, your your clothes shopping? Or, or do you just kind of hunker I mean, down I, in, the, in the hotel? In a lot of places, there's, you yeah, know, we kind of, we know them pretty well by now, so we got, but, this time I did not venture out of the hotel. Like last time we went to, we did quite a lot. This time it was... Well, the, well, the high points, remember, do some t tour guiding. First. What, last time? Mm -hmm. uh, there's really good, like on the square, there's like a really good military shop, right? And you, we just bought tons of these like little, uh, you get all these like gold badges and like pins and all that. So we spent a lot of time doing that, customizing our clothes. <laughs> Uh, we went to amazing like cabaret last time we were here. Just wandered into this bar and they they had all this like pretty dark, crazy cabaret going on. There you go. That's where we'll be tonight. Yeah, I no, it's in, really, in, honestly in really worth going. What's it called? Do you remember? I mm. can't remember. <laughs> but I know someone here that will know. I'll we'll find out. We'll later. find out. Yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. update this later. Yeah. Post cabaret. Yeah. yeah. It was nudity and everything, but it wasn't a strip thing. Okay. It was just. It was very tasteful, tasteful. nudity. Tasteful, tasteful nudity. High end. Yes. <laughs> High end. High end. Uh, it's what we like. What's like a European festival? <laughs> uh, so uh, the new, the the little, the most recent record, Ash Nice, was it was a bit, bit of a change of sound. I remember you, we talked before about yeah. your the sort of injury you sustained and yeah. the, the sort of playing a bit more since. How has that kind of changed? Is it changed the way you do your live shows? Having to incorporate that sort of. Um, well, it's changed in a way because because the way we recorded, we kind of needed um, other players you know so so we're on tour with a live drummer now and a, and a and a scott who plays keys and bass a little bit uh so it's changed like that the live the live experience is not just sort of me and allison and a spotlight you know which i love doing and sometimes i look look back at the footage of us doing that like at the at la cigale in paris and i'm like wow i don't know how we how we did that for so long, you know, it's quite intense. You know? Yeah, just the two of you. Yeah, yeah. and I, I think there's a, you know there's a time when you to move on from that. And probably a time to go back to it. Well, yeah, and I said, certainly from seeing your shows recently, you still manage to get that sort of sense of intimacy. I mean, the two of you come and sort of sit on the lip of the stage. And yeah, you kind of bring it back to just the two of you. Sometimes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, good. <laughs> that's, that's working out. Uh, and so yeah, I know it, it took sort of five years between the, the last one. How's it? How's what's how's, what's the progress on the next one? Are we going to wait five years for another, or are you no. start writing? And well, you know, that sort of stuff. I mean, thank God, now it's not all really about albums. You know, it's just like you putting stuff out. There's a lot more, lot easier than it used to be. You know, like labels just would not see any point whatsoever of just putting a standalone single out or an EP or something. And that's really changed now. We were in, we were in the studio a couple of weeks ago. We had a few few days off, um, or like maybe three three or four weeks ago, and we recorded a couple of songs that turned out really good. So we're going to drop those at some point. This year? Yeah, yeah. We're talking about doing a video for one of them. Just, I mean, we just honestly just went in to to see see what we could do on a few days off, and it was uh, yeah better than expected. Excellent, excellent. Well, we will listen out for those and we will see you in the cabaret later. Jamie. Thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs>